I'm trying so hard to make this content of mine relatable and I've hit a point in content creation where I really don't give a fuck if you like this shit or not. I think that's the problem with the music industry. When you start out as an artist, whether you be independent or just whatever, you get stuck creating and building content that you think people are going to like because you want them to like you. And so whether that be rap, whether that be your your favorite top five artist, they all started out doing things that they thought that the people would like so that they'd be widely accepted. And in the Bible, one of the things that Jesus did not like the most about the Pharisees and people of that nature were that they wanted to please man before they pleased God. And so I've been thinking over the course of like the last 13, 14, 15 years, like why did I stagnate my growth? You know, when I first started out, I lived in South Carolina and I was calling up to like Tyler Perry Studios. And this is back when you could actually call up there and the receptionist would say, oh, Mr. Perry just stepped out. Like, how can I help you? That kind of thing. And she'd say, oh, you got a screenplay? Email it to me. And every time I went to email this person my screenplay, I would sit there like stuck. I knew I had great ideas. I knew that my ideas would take me places, but spirit was like, no, is that really what you want to do with yourself? Is that really what you want to do with your life? And I had to really take a deep, dark look at myself and ask myself, like, what is it that I'm trying to accomplish with my platform? And really living my best life unapologetically happy is not me going out there trying to make music, money, and business, business that y'all like because really I don't give a fuck what y'all like bitch I don't even know half you motherfuckers my biggest opportunity and yours too is to just do what God told you to do and if you really get down to the nitty gritty about what and who God is God is just you it's your higher self it's the way you want your life to be you are the master of your own fate you have free will you create your own destiny it's about being authentic to you but a lot of us learn to a lot of us learn to stagnate our true selves because we think that people want to see a certain version of us even the girlies on youtube that are like vlogging and showing people days in their life i could show you days in my life or i could show you this video because let me tell you something, what I'm doing right now is what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, the next day, and the next day. Until I feel like doing something else. I don't just make content because I want y'all to like what I do, girl. I don't give a damn. I got this video, I got plenty of videos up that people like are probably um, seeing and they feel secondhand embarrassment for. I've gotten the phone calls, I heard the messages, people don't like my content. And you know what? I don't give a fuck. Because, bitch, I like my content. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> you don't even like yourself, ho. How the fuck are you going to tell me what you don't like about what the fuck I'm doing with my shit? That's my question for you. Is if you know the people around you don't even like they self, ho. Then why are, you, why are you trying to, like, make them comfortable with you? I've been broke before. I've been up. I've been down. I've been all around. And I've always been me throughout whatever season I've been in. Can you say the same thing? If you can, fantastic. I guess we on the same journey. We going up on a Tuesday, okay? And if not, then figure out how you can learn to love yourself and stop living vicariously through other people. Or if you can't stop living vicariously through other people, then learn to stop motherfucking hating, bitch, because it ain't getting you nowhere. I'd say like this, but whether you like it or not, bitch, I know you like this shit.